Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Dean Nuts. I'm going to show you six different bandages and three bonus ways of healing yourself in Greenhow. So the first one we're going to talk about is the easiest one and that is the Molinera and it's going to be the basic dressing. So it's basically going to be a leaf bandage and this is the standard one. Uh, this is good for any open cuts or abrasions it heals up your player if you have any of these issues so this is what it looks like you have to chop at these leaves and then once you get the leaf you just craft it and then you will craft yourself a leaf bandage you just need one per bandage and that's it right there so like I say this will do any open cut abrasion so um, how you apply it is you inspect your character hold L2 and toggle with the right stick on which limb and then hold R2 and rotate with the right stick to check out where it is. You can pick it up with square and drag it over and drop or you can just push X to insert it on the wound. It's easier to do that by the way. Next up we have tobacco leaves and these are anti-venomous so um, well they have anti-venom properties shall I say so uh, the leaf looks like that and you want to craft yourself a normal leaf bandage and then craft a tobacco leaf with the standard bandage and these are good for bite wounds such as snakes so they they will heal up snake bites so they're anti-toxins and that's what you want to do with that so um, they also work well on these kind of cuts as well so if you have an open laceration sort of gash like this, then it will work on these two. So you just hover over, you can hover over the tobacco dressing and just hit X and it will insert it on there for you nice and easy. Doing it this way it saves you dropping it in case you don't actually chuck it on there. You might miss, I don't know. Next up is the unknown herb but this is a lily plant and basically you hit the same thing you hit the bush give it a couple of taps on the bush and then what you want to do is craft yourself a standard bandage leaf bandage and then combine it with the lily leaf and then that will make you a lily dressing and lily dressings are good for rashes they are pretty good actually for snake bites and like bee stings stuff like this because they're like antihistamine and also anti-venom as well so lily bandages are really good and you get yourself some leeches and <laughs> take them off disgusting things but yeah they're good for rashes like this you can also get these kind of rashes if you run through the ant hills and they bite you so uh, yeah apply it and it should be gone and no issues whatsoever Next up then is going to be the ash dressing, two ways you can get ash, you can harvest charcoal that you can find in campfires when the fire burns out you get a bit of charcoal, you can craft, harvest it into campfire ash like that and just pick that up and then combine it with a leaf bandage, the same as all the other ways you do it, everything starts with a leaf bandage, now you have ash dressing. And another way to get ash dressing, ash dressing, ash dressing even, tongue twisters, is kill these bad boy goliath birdie as spiders. So you want to kill one of these and then you want to get it nice and toasty on a fire. So you cook it and then you keep, you keep cooking it till it's burnt and then you harvest it. Once you've harvested it you will get goliath birdie your ash and then you combine that with a leaf dressing or a leaf bandage to get the goliath dressing so that's another way of getting ash right there and ash is good for lacerations also so if you got the lash use the ash <laughs> that's a good way of remembering it so a couple of things here if you find these make sure you take the maggots and also harvest that bone for a bone needle too go into that in a minute but this looks like a nasty infection and this is what you're going to use the maggots on but to be honest if you got that infection you're going to probably die out before you find one of these but anyway so we've covered the leaf the tobacco the lily the ash the goliath bird eater ash and also 
the maggots and another thing is ants now I tried to use these but it wouldn't work but apparently you can use ants as kind of like a stitching and um, they're good for lacerations but it didn't seem to work but let me know in the comments if you've got ants to work for you so that's kind of a bonus one I thought I'd throw in there and another one the best bandage of all but I couldn't find it was honey and it's super hard for me to find um, apparently it's like a white ball in the tree and you throw a stone at it it falls to the floor you harvest it you get the honey and then you combine the honey with a leaf ba uh, bandage yeah leaf bandage with honey and you get honey dressing now this is brilliant and it's with the best one in the game like I say I delayed this video I delayed this video a whole day just to try and find some honey but I couldn't find it for the life of me so um it's good because it's anti-disinfectant it's also anti-histamine and anti-toxins so um it's good for any cut sting or bite so it's the best one in the game I just couldn't grab it but um, let me know if you have any locations of some honey because it would be good to get hold of some. So this bonus tip right here, if you sleep on the ground too long you'll get a worm. Why I told you to harvest that bone earlier is because you can remove worms like, with that bone. So you harvest the bone to get one of these bone needles and then insert it on the wound which is the worm crawling under your arm. It's absolutely disgusting but you'll take that out and then use a bandage on it. I'd probably recommend something like a, a leaf bandage or a tobacco bandage um, just to remove any disgusting stuff within it. But um, that is pretty much it. My tips and tricks for the six bandages and the three other ways of healing yourself. But if you have to sleep on the floor, do it in short bursts and you shouldn't get a worm. But if you do get a worm, try and find one of those boar bodies on the floor and then harvest a bone from them you can also kill like tribe members and harvest their bones or even that kill trap that i showed you a few seconds ago then just use that kill trap to get a boar and then harvest the bones from that but i think well i really hope this has been helpful to you if it has then drop a like and comment down below it really helps the channel grow this is a small channel and about 95 percent or I think it was 94 percent of the people that watch it ain't yet subscribed so if you do subscribe to the channel that would be a massive help and I appreciate it massively but thank you for watching everyone hope you've enjoyed the show like I say like comment review thanks for watching take care and we'll see you on the next one